Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Deadfire with me, Pregnant Dawn. Will do. I did elect not to do the Seekers challenges off camera because all the ones we've already completed might be grandfathered into the Rapier's upgrade. So I'll do the Tomb of Vathar Kadu, and if it doesn't upgrade after that, I will do the rest of them off camera. So, Tomb of Vathar Kadu. Relive the plundering of the Tomb of Vathar Kadu, where the original thieves seeking the riches of this trapped mausoleum found only death and ruin. Perhaps you will fare better in the Crucible's recreation of this deadly treasure hunt gone awry. Sounds like there's going to be a lot of traps. Luckily we have Aloth with us. The tomb of Vathor Kathu carries more remains of seekers than it does remains of the Kathu family. Though the tomb is now buried beneath the dunes, the memory of an attempted raid survives. Step lightly and be on your guard. For Vathor Kathu assumed his wealth would be robbed by future kith, and planned accordingly. Yeah. Hell ain't a place for gems and jewelry. Well, conveniently, the arena isn't really designed to hide these traps, so... Yes? They're spotted even without perception checks. Oh? I shall. I think that's all yeah. of them. I've got it. Mean to burn damage. How inconvenient. Try this again. That's not supposed to happen. Of course. Keep trying to dodge all these fireballs. Lava. 
Move! Alethem just got taken out there. Sure thing. <laughs> got playing for Jody here. I'm gonna do this. Sure thing. Sorry, let's back behind my front line. Now this guy's stuck. Actually really convenient for us. Oh, he went down. All right, we got a fix for that. Stop. Jody's down. <laughs> How convenient these guys are mean to burn damage. <laughs> Uh, let's try and take out all the ads and we'll focus on Father Kadu himself. That's not very helpful. Lava will be on seek. Sign of pain. Lasts for 0.6 seconds. Let's go. Ah, it's nothing, Crowley. Lava, you're sick. It's a 
room! So I really need to move out of the way of that spell. It is not doing me any favors. I'll speak. Might take it. Right here. That's right. Oh. Lavaru beyond seek. You know, let's try to knock him down instead. Let's try Alright, looks like we're doing fine. That's not super easy to gauge. I interrupted our shapeshift, right? Oh no, we shapeshifted. I did not kind this spell speak. Remember to turn off the wall to use Soul Strike. Yeah. Okay. What else do we have? We have Blind. Hey. 
How's this one go again? Yeah. Alright, let's get Eloth involved over here. Take him down. About tax to my limit. Yeah. That must hurt. Ouchies. Kill the bastards! I'm feeling the strain. Hey, good job, Alok. And to think, I didn't think he was going to make it through that fight. The best defense. It's a small shield. Roll design. Shaken for 8 seconds on scoring crit. Shield engagement plus 1 enemies engaged. Legendary. Piercing bash. This shield can be used as a weapon to deal pierce crush damage. The vindictive contestants of the crucible gave birth to this brutal buckler design. A barbed steel spike projects from its center. Designed to punch through plate, chain, and skin. No amount of scouring will cleanse the blood sades from its base. The buckler's presence inspires fearful cringes from combatants and sympathetic winces from gentler audience members, evoking uninvited tales of seemingly lost battles turned by a timely shield bash to the gut, groin, or eye. Though none seem to know who first crafted this buckler, Kazuwari denizens attest that dozens have worn it into the pit over the years of fighting. Your inheritance of it suggests that its previous bearers have learned the cruel, final lesson of the crucible. Even those bearing the best arms inevitably pay the pit its due. Penetrating Bash, plus 2 penetration. Sharpened Bash, plus 25% damage. Sickening to watch. 50% chance on scoring kill to apply Sicken to nearby enemies for 8 seconds. Terrifying to face. 50% chance on scoring kill to apply Terrified to nearby enemies for 4 seconds. Pretty solid. The patient hunter is often the best fed. Where others found a hasty demise, you find victory. Well done. Well, I don't mean to brag. Sure. Okay, let's go rest up. And do the next challenge. Oh, did our rapier level? It did! So we got Spider's Escape. After applying a Dexterity Affliction, become immune to engagement for 3 seconds. And now we have to apply 50 Dexterity Afflictions or 100 Afflictions to enemies. The Hundredfold Path branches 100 hundred times. The Seeker will not guide the Seeking, for it would tread willingly each path and back again experiencing the whole of things as they were and will be. Thus does the Traveler serve the Seeker, narrowing potentials and possibilities with the sharp point of decision. So sing the Juana, so how the faces of the hunt. I don't want, of course...
wanted. Nebris Tenacity. Ready yourself for a foe that draws strength from its own defeat. Relive the demise of Jorian Do Aldres, an ambitious chanter who, in her quest to summon and spar with increasingly formidable opponents, invoked a host of sparring partners far tougher than she expected. through the darkness enemies ahead build them i will They are coming back here for me. I cannot whack him any harder. Try and get him to safety. Cancel Torn of Flame because they're all running away. Alright, we'll try and pick him back up. Let's get these drakes out instead. <laughs> Not gouging strikes for everybody. Well, that looks. Get landed, of course. Take him down. Bring him on that. It's too good to pass up, even if it does hit a dare. But we get him out of dodge as well. It's nothing, Crowley. Alright, 
Hang in there, buddy. Think so. So it looks like shades spawn every time we take out a nightmare shade, which I believe is a mechanic we've seen before. I noticed it before, but. I figured I pointed out. Don't oh, no. think so. Let's go! Alright guys, some more healing out. That's it. Oh, almost. There we go. The Cory's Refuge. The cape grants bold and danger. 20% chance to cast steadfast for 8 seconds when critically hit. And weather worn. Plus 10, all defenses against water, frost, and wind attacks. Once common among the most experienced fishermen and shark hunters of the Juana tribes, cloaks like this were stitched together from layers of vellum-thick seal hide and oiled against the elements. They not only serve the practical purpose of keeping the wearer relatively warm and dry while protecting them from snapping teeth and lashing tentacles, but also denoted status. An individual draped in these hides willingly braved Ngati's unforgiving domain to support the tribe. This particular cloak bears the signs of years of hard use, its stitching frayed and edges ragged. Despite the obvious wear, the mantle's hardy construction continues to ward off water and chill alike. Only because I like it. Made a lot of progress there. Let's see if there's anything new real quick. Welcome. I hope I can be of service. I'm afraid you've entirely... I'd be disappointed. You now know. Greetings, champ. Will do.
All right. Looks like we're finally done with the Crucible, so next time, we're gonna go hunt some Mega Bosses. We'll start with the one that we've already fought, the Hellfire Colossus. And also the only one that I've prepared for because it's the only one I know what to expect. Adult, what of course. We have accumulated burn armor raiding out the wazoo, so we just might make it. The healing done is probably the best on him. And... I might deal with this later. Road armor might come in handy. Like that quite a bit as well. Also, if I forget, well, we'll swap it out next time. But if I remember right, it was weak to crush and shock damage. But yeah, we'll deal with that next time. For now, thanks for watching. Hope to see you guys in the next one.